42. Today, I house cleaned the dining room. And today we're going to make apple pie filling. I've made this a few times in the course of the last 15 years. And apples are something that are very expensive for me. So I do not get apples very often. But I was able to find at the discount grocery store this week this beautiful basket of apples. As you can see, these apples have brown on them. Just like this. And everybody at the store thought they were old, and that's why they couldn't sell them. In fact, a kind of apple. It's not at all that it means that it is rotting. The apples are beautiful. I paid $1 for the apples, and they are organic. And so I thought, what a beautiful way to use these apples that will last me all winter time. And that is making apple pie filling. To those of you who have the cookbook, it's on page 170. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to peel our apples. And I know you've seen me use my little apple peeler before. But what you want to do is you want to always put a little bit of vitamin C or some lemon juice in your water. That will keep your apples from turning brown until you're ready to can them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel these apples and then I'll get back to you and show you the next step. And we are going to heat up the pie filling. Now I'm going to share with you the direct recipe at the end of this video because I have to substitute some things because it calls for apple juice and apple juice makes it really good. But I don't have any apple juice and I've made it without it and it's just, it's fine, it's just not quite as good. But it's still very good. So we're going to go ahead. So I'm adding the five cups of the liquid. I'm just going to share with you a little bit how I'm doing it and then you can see the actual recipe later. So I have some of this. This is sugar and what it has is vanilla beans in it and it soaked up the flavor of the vanilla beans. So we're going to use this sugar today for our apple pie filling because I think it would give it a rather really good rich flavor. It calls for two and one fourth cups. Mm, and that smells so good. The vanilla beans in this sugar. Wow, that is so, so good. And I have a video on that. I'm going to see if I can find it. But it's such a good idea, putting some vanilla beans in your sugar. So now we have our water and our sugar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our thickening agent. It calls for clear gel. Now clear gel is something that you do not want to substitute on. I want to use cornstarch. Now a lot of the old timers they do use cornstarch, but what happens is it's going to start settling and it's going to look really ugly in your jars and it doesn't last very long. So we always use clear gel. Now we want to make sure that we really whisk this good. The same as what we do when we work with any kind of thickener because we don't want to have lumps. So I added a half a cup and I'm going to go ahead and add the rest to make it three fourths of a cup. The reason why we don't use cornstarch in the canning is because of it doesn't stay nice and solidified nice in the jars. Now we use cornstarch when we're actually making a recipe that has nothing to do with canning. This also you can freeze. This is just as good frozen as it is canned. So now we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon calls for one and a half and I use about two because I like it. It also calls for nutmeg but we do not like the nutmeg flavoring. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to add the last ingredient and that is a half a cup of lemon juice and then we'll add our apples to it. I 
add our lemon juice. All right, that's all we do for the liquid ingredients. Now we're gonna add our apples as soon as it starts thickening up and then we can go ahead and can it. It's just easy as that. Now for the fun part. And this is where we fill our jars. So our jars are washed and there is the pie filling. You tell me that does not look yummy. So I'm not sure how many this is gonna give. But, okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling these jars up and then I'll go back and then I will take a instrument and take all the bubbles out of it. Yummy, yummy, that is so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the, all these jars and then I'll show you how many it gave. I don't think that's a bad investment at all. 10 pints for 99 cents for the apples and just a little bit of sugar and a little bit of that thickening agent and a little bit of spices. So I'm gonna wait until my water boils and then we're gonna put them in and we're gonna have them in for 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's apple season and I hope you make some apple pie filling today. 